Have you thought about updating your speaker's toolbox for the new year? Now, you may have prepared by setting goals, by clearing out your clutter from your office, deleting unwanted files from your devices, and changing that calendar on your wall. But what about the aspects of your personal brand, those that set you apart every time you speak? If you attend meetings, address clients, participate in industry conferences, talk with your employees, present to a board of directors, or pitch investors, you're a speaker. And if you follow me, you know that how you communicate, how you show up in person or online, can affect your business, your career, and your reputation, for better or for worse. I ask you, when was the last time you did a personal brand inventory? Now, you are a breathing, walking, talking brand. People judge most things by their cover, including other people. Your brand attributes are expressed in your LinkedIn and your social media profiles, uh, your biography, your email signature, your self-introduction, how you dress, and many other ways you may not even consider. Now, here is a short checklist for your speaker's toolbox. Make sure it's ready for the new year. Number one, update your professional portrait. Update your professional portrait. It's wise to replace your headshot every two years. Anything beyond that can show marked changes in your appearance. If you're still using your MBA graduation photo, people may question your professionalism. Number two, refresh your physical set or your virtual background. If you work from home often, aim to spruce up your decor by adding some plants, changing out the wall art, or adding new books, some memorabilia and decorative items that speak to things you love. Maybe it's time to invest in better lighting so you look alert and energetic on the screen. If you use a virtual background and are not bound to your company's brand guidelines, well, you can tweak the artwork to reflect a new beginning. Number three, revise your biography. Did you change jobs, get a promotion, win some awards? You can edit the dates and references to the number of years in a particular role, your experience, or accomplishments in the past. Now, make sure the numbers make sense. You can have different versions in various lengths for different occasions and platforms, but make sure they're all on brand, that there's consistency across all platforms. Number four, tweak your elevator pitch. If you've been using the same 30 to 60 second pitch about you and your business for years, it may be time to add new colorful details. I like to follow the structure, I help blank, my expertise is blank, and add a call to action or how to contact me. Now, you can add a recent example of a client you helped, a successful business deal, or how a product performed. Number five, upgrade your technology. Download the latest version of Zoom or your favorite video streaming app. Make sure you familiarize yourself with new features that will improve your Zoom score and enhance your virtual presence. Look at your hardware and ask yourself, is it time to upgrade my webcam, lighting kit, microphone? With video conference at the centerpiece of the workday, there is a vast array of affordable equipment available to help you look and sound better. The next one, number six, order new business cards. If you need to restock, think about making minor improvements. What can you add? What can you delete that better communicates and differentiates your brand? 
consider a digital card instead of a printed one. And even if you work in a corporate environment where, where templates rule, you know, there is, may still be room for a little creativity and for some minor enhancements. The last point of your checklist is check your voicemail message and your email signature. Do you have a custom greeting on your phone? Now, if you changed or reset your smartphone, likely your personalized voicemail greeting defaulted to the system setting. It is worth a quick checkup. Now look at your email signature. If you have the freedom to create your own, ask yourself if it really represents your professional brand in 2023. And one more tip, if you work remotely, if you spend a lot of time in front of the webcam, consider investing in a few new garments for your Zoom wardrobe. How you look matters. You know, we live in a hyper-visual world where first impressions are cast in as little as seven seconds. Make it a habit to audit your brand presence across all the touch points periodically. It will serve you well all year long. For more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me at rosemaryravenel.com. Thank you for watching.